Trying to stop Portland's gun violence at 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Giannola and I'm Elizabeth Din. As we've been reporting, Portland is already seeing a deadly gun violence problem this year. Sadly, 40 people killed and while that number is high, it still falls short of the total compared to this time last year. All that can change in a flash of gunfire. Here's what the numbers show. January to May of last year, there were 40 homicides, not including people killed by law enforcement. January to May of this year, 39 homicides. But the difference? In June of last year, there were non-homicides. So far in Portland this year, there have only been three homicides in the month of June. Another perspective in all this, in the eight months since November, there have been four months with 10 or more shootings. The other four months, four or fewer. So to stem a possible spike in the summer months, the city unveiling a new program. And tonight, Jamie Seymour spoke with families who've been hurt by gun violence. What did they have to tell you, Jamie? Keely Williams and Tamika Taylor both lost family members to gun violence here in Portland just a few days apart. And both agree that more needs to be done by city leadership. Gun violence continues to plague Portland, but what will it take to actually put an end to it? While it doesn't appear there's a clear cut answer, Mayor Ted Wheeler announced a new Safer Summer PDX program today to address gun violence this summer with a team working directly in the community, even bringing in international resources with experience of counter violence in war torn countries like Afghanistan and Sudan. Their goal is to work as our ceasefire team to help develop concrete, immediate strategies here in the city of Portland. But there's still a lot that's not known about this project and how or if it will work. And with every shooting and murder now investigated by Portland police, victims' families say they not only want answers, but action from leaders like Wheeler. I'm not that impressed with the mayor, okay? I'm just, I'm going to say it, and I haven't been. And I've been watching him for a while been watching through the protesting, how he hides. Keely Williams' son Aaron was shot to death in Northeast Portland back in January, and there's still no updates when it comes to the person responsible. She says he was one of the first murders of 2022 and has already lost track of how many have happened since. As this Safer Summer program continues, Williams says she'd like to see Mayor Wheeler out there working with the community on these issues and helping them. If you don't have the answers, get out and work with the people. Tamika Taylor's brother, Jaquan Jenkins, was shot to death just a few days later, five months ago today. After hearing about the mayor's announcement, she told Coin6, quote, hopefully what Ted Wheeler is implementing now in regards to gun violence plaguing our city will actually have results. And it will take more than just addressing the guns. Adding that it's hard to have faith in Wheeler after so much violence has, quote, festered but it's time for something to be done by the city. Today, we asked Mayor Wheeler's office if police will be a part of this, this safer summer program, why they've appointed three specific people to lead this team, and will their community efforting include working with witnesses to actually come forward when this gun violence happens, something that didn't happen with Jenkins or Williams's cases. They did not answer our questions. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin6 News.